Hello, welcome to AyurvedicScience.com. This is Dr. Virinda Sodi. Acne, jits, pimples, blemishes, no matter what name you call it, is very distressing and annoying. One acne is slowly healing and the other is popping up. Acne is a very common problem throughout the world, especially in developed countries. 40 to 50 million Americans suffer with acne. Acne can occur at any age, but most commonly it occurs in teenagers. 85% teenagers have acne. What causes acne? It's very unclear. We don't know the real cause of acne, but we can blame four things. The oil, which our skin make in the special gland, which is called sebaceous gland, and the blockage in the pore, then there is a bacteria and then there's an inflammation. The bacteria, which is called Propenibacterium acne, and this gets a special name Propenibacterium because this bacteria makes propanic acid. This propanic acid is a very wonderful antifungal, antibacterial in small quantities. But as you know, everything is a balance. Whenever this balance is disturbed, when you are making too much oil and it happens with the surge of hormones, especially in teenagers, you are making more oil and you are also making more propanic acid. Now this propanic acid, which has been a antifungal, antibacterial in protecting your skin, becomes an irritant to the skin and it invites another normally living bacteria like staph in your uh, skin which actually penetrates your skin more deeper and causes the skin lesion or folliculitis or a acne. So you can understand that the same normal living bacteria which is supposed to protect your skin is causing the problem. Now acne as goes more deeper it gets different names. It gets the name of comedo when it's superficial which is also called black head, white head and when it's get a little more deeper it's starting to be inflamed and red when it's get more deeper it becomes little pustule it becomes like a pimple and it becomes very deep then it calls the cystic acne is a diet has any link to the acne you know if you read the literature it says there is no clear link but i think there is a clear link i grew up in a very small village of himalayas and uh, up to my high school I did not have any acne lesion whatsoever. Then I moved to study in a college in northern state of Punjab and I got little bit acne I think because of my diet changed and my environment. The environment was more polluted in the Punjab region than the Himalayas. The Himalayas has a very pristine clean environment. Uh, so I believe if you eat a lot more sugar a uh, lot more carbohydrate rich food and deep fried food, oily food, uh, maybe a causative organ. I like to do food sensitivity test for people who has a persistent acne problem and which is not controlled with the majors. Again, food is an important issue in my personal opinion. The treatment of uh, acne, as you know, there are many. You can use over-the-counter medication. You can use antibiotics. The few names which you all know, benzyl peroxide, retina-A, trezac, the azithromycin, doxycycline, minicycline, tetracycline, and all those medicines goes on and on. Major side effects. You know, you're not going to cure your acne by just taking antibiotic once. You have to go on taking, and I've seen patient who has been taking antibiotic for the last four to five years. And uh, did it fix the problem? No. Did it cause side effects? Yes. So, the, in my opinion, you want to change your diet. You want to clean your face naturally. Uh, there are Ayurvedic herbs. Uh, one comes to my mind first is neem. A uh, very wonderful herb which has been used traditionally for many many centuries. Grandma used it for all kinds of skin condition. And when you combine this neem with the herb curcumin, 
it has a wonderful anti-inflammatory and antibiotic effect uh, your skin heals very very fast uh, in 1983 when I got married to my lovely wife Rekha Rekha started to develop very severe cases of cystic acne and uh, so she first didn't want to use uh, my therapies because you know uh, I was a young doctor and uh, uh, she may not have developed the full faith in me and uh, so she opted for using antibiotic but antibiotics after using for three four months did not have much impact on her skin so I end up using neem and curcumin and to her wonder after around one month her acne subsided in three months completely cleared her face and she has been clear face since then so I have you know use this recipe since then as my standard part of protocol for acne another thing which you want to add to your acne protocol is a probiotic because ecosystem is very important especially the gut ecosystem and if you eat probiotic it helps to balance out your ecosystem another thing is washing your face uh, I recommend that you use Ayush face pack dissolve one to two teaspoon of this face pack rub it on your face lightly keep it on for 30 minutes after 30 minutes wash it off with the lukewarm water and you will have a wonderful glowing skin this is dr virinder sodi on ayurvedicscience.com thank you